cryptocurrency is explained for kids. So what is a cryptocurrency? Simply put, cryptocurrencies are a new form of digital money. They aren't physical coins or notes. Cryptocurrencies use decentralized control. This means that they aren't controlled by one person or government, unlike traditional money. All cryptocurrency transactions are recorded through a blockchain. Blockchains are extremely secure as they're encrypted with a 256 cryptographic keys. I don't know what that means, but it sounds impressive. Cryptocurrencies aren't legally accepted everywhere, but if they become legal, we'll be able to use them to pay for stuff just like we do with normal money today. So why are cryptocurrencies better? They're more secure, transparent, and they have less transaction fees. Ah, I guess it's a shame I can't do my shopping with Bitcoin then. The first cryptocurrency was made in 2009 by the presumed fake name Satoshi Nakamoto. Well, whoever they are, it's safe to say that they're very, very, very rich. And just how many cryptocurrencies are there today? You might not believe it, but there are more than 1,300 cryptocurrencies. A new cryptocurrency can be created at any time. The fascination with these currencies appears to have been more about making money rather than to use their new and unique system for making payments. Even popular YouTuber MrBeast has invested around $1.5 million into Bitcoin. This doesn't mean though that investing in cryptocurrencies is always a good idea, as prices have been going like a roller coaster, up and down, up and down. For example, the price of Bitcoin increased from around $1,000 at the start of 2017 to around 20,000 at the end of 2017, before falling to around 7,000 in early 2018. That's quite a difference. Whilst we're talking about Bitcoin, did you know that there are only 21 million Bitcoins in total that can be mined? The number of new Bitcoins created each year is automatically halved over time. Right now, more than three out of every four Bitcoins that will ever exist have already been mined while an unknown number has been lost forever due to thrown away hard drives or websites closing down. A great but sad example of this is James Howes, an IT engineer in Wales, who accidentally threw away an old hard drive which has 7,500 Bitcoin on it in 2013. He's still searching for it today, and who wouldn't when it's worth a staggering $246 million right now. So is there any way I can make my own cryptocurrency? Well you can, this is called mining. You can do this from your own computer, or you can even pay other companies to mine for you. If you want to do this properly though, you're going to need a mining rig. This might be expensive at first, but soon enough you'll be raking in the coins. There are three basic types of mining rigs, CPU, GPU, and ASIC. The biggest factor in choosing the right rig is the currency you're trying to mine. For example, did you know that Bitcoin mining consumes 0.5% of all electricity used globally and seven times Google's total usage? That's crazy. Who knows what will happen with cryptocurrencies in the future? But I know that I'm going to try and make some money now whilst I can. Well, no, my luck. I'll probably just lose it all. Till next time, thanks for watching. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and I hope you have a lovely day.